title of this video. Today I'm doing my makeup collection video and a friend of mine and I or I and a friend of mine, I don't know. I have literally gone through all of my makeup products and threw away the ones that I didn't use like every day or that I liked using. So, I'm sorry if you can't hear my dog barking because she is just going crazy. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup collection and my makeup collection may not be like huge or anything but those are just the products that I use every single day and just the products that I like having in my makeup collection. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in front of my vanity and you can see me through the mirror, so hi. Everything you see is from Ikea, including the shelves, the table and the mirror. I wanted my entire vanity to be white so it looks clean and just like the colors gonna pop up a little bit as you guys can see. So we're gonna get started by the shelf on the right there. So on the very very top shelf right here I have got my perfumes which I'm not going to go through because it's just going to be too long. If you want I can do a separate video to just talking about my perfumes, my favorite ones, the ones that I use and the stuff like that. On the bottom shelf right here I've got all of my foundations and concealers so I'm just gonna quickly go through all of the products. So here I've got the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray. Then I've got a Bioderma Sabine Pore Refiner Primer. Then I've got my Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. The Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation. The Dior Skin Forever Foundation. And last but not least, my Fit Me and Shine Stick foundation right here, which is my favorite right now. And then I've got this little box right here from Ikea where I keep all of my concealers. So the first one right here is the Laura Mercier um, Secret Concealer. Then I have the Erase Face by Benefit, the Bobbi Brown Concealer Duo right here, which looks like this. This one is a powder. This is a great product if you're looking to invest in a concealer. Then the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which is my favorite right now. The Maybelline oh, um, Instant Anti-Age Effect Concealer. I have a lot of Maybelline concealers. And then last but not least, I've got my Dream Let Me Touch Concealer right here. Oh no, I've got the Dior Skin one too. This is one. This one is the Skin Flash. Then when you, when you go a little bit lower, you've got this white box which contains some makeup again. Okay, so in the back here, I've got all of my powders. I've got two stay mattes. This one is almost over, so I'm just going to be throwing that away very, very soon. I've got the MAC Mineral Skin Finish Natural. And then this is not a powder, but it's like a bronzer. This is the, a bronzer by Bobbi Brown, which is a little too dark for me, so I don't use it that often. So I just keep it back here. And then on this little boxy kind of thing, I've got my blushes, my like powdery blushes. This one is for MAC, this is in the color Peaches. It is a really, really pretty color to use in the summertime. This one is in the color Desert Rose, which I put on today. And this last one right here is in the color Gingerly, which is my favorite blush color. I use it practically every single day. And here I've got a NYX Cream Blush, which I don't, to be honest, I don't quite use that often, but I guess I use it sometimes, so I keep it here. Then here I have got all of my, like, I don't know, it is, it, it's a kind of mess here. This is the Estee Lauder Spotlight Skin Tone Perfector. Then I've got Charger Tint, Benetint, Tint, and High Beam. And I have the Benefits What's Up. Those two are great highlighters if you're looking for highlighters. Then here I've got two Sephora samples. And then here I've got two Laura Mercier powders. This one is in the color Natural Beige. This is a great product to use every single day because it's really, really natural. Then I've got the candle light here, which is more of like a highlighter. You cannot put this all over your face, so that would be kind of weird. And then when you go really, really, really low, here I have got some like really, really, really random stuff. I've got an X-Care hand sanitizer in like a huge box. 
Then I've got this little thing right here that I use to clean my brushes. I got this from Sephora. And I have a Yolon, like, kind of a sample, foundation sample that they gave me when I want to match. Now we're just going to move on to the next shelf right here. Okay, so on the very, very top shelf, I've got this lipstick holder thingy, but I don't use the back row, I only use the front row. I've got all of my mascaras, I've got the CoverGirl um, Clump Crusher, the CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara, the Rocket in regular, in waterproof, and then I've got the Benefit, the Real, and I've got a Yves Saint Laurent one, this one is the... Long mascara and this one's waterproof. I don't use this one as often and I use this one like every single day so it kind of goes from like most used to the least used. And then moving up to the bottom shelf I've got all of my eyeshadows, eye primer and my pencils so it's gonna be a lot easier if you guys look from the top. This is kind of like a weird organization but basically back there I've got my Naked 2 palette here I've got my small palettes, including the CoverGirl Country Wood palette, the CoverGirl Dance Party palette, and my Naked Basics palette, which has like really, really matte colors, so it's great for your daily use. Here I've got two more, like one more palette from Smashbox. This one is in the color Masquerade, and I don't use this that often, but it has great colors, so I decided to keep it. Then I've got a Manhattan multi-effect eyeshadow in the color Vanilla Sky, which is this really, really, really pretty, like, beige, whitish color. Here I've got all of my color tattoos slash, like, the MAC um, paint pot. The, this one is in the color pink gold, as you can see. This one is in the color Back to the Bronze, and my paint pot is in the color Let's Skate. Then I've got my four MAC eyeshadows. Um, I've got the blonde type, the sushi flower, the brown down, and the bronze. Bronze is like my favorite color right now. I just got it yesterday, but check out how pretty, pretty it is. Like I'm in love with this color. It goes perfectly on, on your entire lid. And then I've got my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer portion. And then I've got Omega right here, and the reason why Omega is separate from the other colors is because I use Omega on my brows, so it's easier to keep it separate. And yeah, this is how it looks like. I'm in love with it. It goes great for my brows. Then I've got some pens here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but currently my favorite one is Maybelline Master Drama Cold Liner. I totally, totally recommend it. It, it does stay on your a lash line for a pretty good amount of time. The other ones are kind of like just there. I don't use them that often. I don't use eye pencil that often, so. And we're just going to go into my lipsticks. Now, I have quite a bit of like a lipstick obsession, even though I don't use it that often. Don't ask why, I just I just like it. What I did is that I put like the real lipstick in the front. There's one missing because it's the one I used today, which I don't remember the name of, so I'm really, really sorry. But I've got Max Chatterbox, which is this really, really pretty bright color pink that I love. And the Coral Blush, and this is how it looks like. And then I've got two Revlon Lip Butters right here. This one is in the color Sweet Tart, and this one is in the color very smoothie, which are two of my favorites, and then I've got my two baby lips right here. This one is in the color grape wine, and this one is in the color coral blush. I've got two EOS lip balms right here, and a MAC lip balm in the color pairing tenor tone, and this is how it looks like. It looks so pretty. And I've got a Dior lipstick. I think this one is like the classic one. It's like the pinkest one. Then I've got another Revlon lip butter right here, and this one is in the color Candy Apple, which is a bright, bright red. Then I've got a sort of a lip balm, which I don't know where it's from. My mom just gave it to me. I've got the L'Oreal Color Shine Caress Lip Stains sort of things in the color Marilyn. I've got a Maybelline Tropical Pink Color Sensational Pop Stick. I've got a Rimmel London lipstick in the color Alarm, and it's just this like 
pretty reddish reds. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm tired. I've got a not so clear Smashbox lip gloss, which I like to put like on top of my lipstick, so it kind of adds like a little bit of brightness. I've got a Mac lip gloss in the color. Um, Floating Lotus, which I have used quite a bit as you can see. Then I've got a, another cream sheen glass in the color um, Star Star Quality. Then I've got a Catrice Pearl Shine lip balm sort of thing. I've got a Revlon Just Bitten lip stain in the color beloved and back there i've just got the essence like brow gel sort of thing that i don't use that often because it's really really old moving on to the middle part i've got my eyeshadow brushes right here with my face blushes over there and then here in the middle are the hair products that i use quite often i've got the garnier Cryptus fructus nutri repair tree um spray the lash dry shampoo the It's a Tan Leave-In Curtain Spray along with the It's a Tan Oil and I've got a True Blue Spa like Andrei Roll-On thingy which kind of helps my Andrei's tone down a little bit and here, here, like right here and then I'm not going to go through everything here but basically I've just got my hair sprays here heat protecting um, styling spray then those two are Turkish things that my sister uses the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray, the um, Bad Hat Small Talk Cream sort of thing that kind of helps you tone your hair down a little bit. Then I've got my straightener here, and then I've got like two, oh no, three curlers actually right here. Then here I've got my blow dryer along with some brushes over there. And yeah, so that was my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a big old thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a video talking about my perfumes right there. And I'll talk to you all very, very soon.